In the previous episode, we defeated... Oh, look, I don't think I've seen the skull floating in the background, the Skeletron uh, cloud, in so long. What a nice little treat. I just noticed that it's like... Started talking. Uh, we, what we, oh yeah, we defeated Yaron, and um, thank God for that. Let's get that out of the way. I also don't know what I did with the relic. Is this the Yaron relic? I don't think this is the Yaron relic. Oh, it is. Okay. Well, now I know what I did with it. I'm, I'm gonna fix this between episodes. I definitely am. I'm gonna make this go all the way across. Now, here's the thing. We're about to enter the second phase of the end game of this, where we need to kill the Exomex and Calamitous. That's gonna be a bit of a problem. <laughs> it's gonna take a while and it always does, though I'm not sure. Maybe maybe it'll be the case that it doesn't take a while and that we're able to kind of scoot through it uh, as melee. You know, I felt like um, I felt like Summoner was relatively easy for those two bosses for me. So yeah, I I think I think I just gotta you know play it by ear. See see how long this is gonna take. But we need to gather auric ore, and that's down over here. It's up over here. So like this is just like our new thing. I need to uh, swap that out. There we go. So this is what we're gonna do in this episode. We're gonna get all of our gear set up. I think that it's one of those situations of as soon as we get. Wait, can I not? Why not? Why not? Why can't I pick it? Oh my goodness. Okay, 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 okay. Let's go, let's go back. <laughs> I know I can get it, somehow. Pick, uh, pick, pick. No, pick. There we go. Um, goodness. My, okay. I'm gonna have to go through all this and figure out which one can actually mine it. And then we gotta make it. It's not the astral. What is our pickaxe power with the stardust? I just figured that they wouldn't, um, go away. It's like trying to type, but it won't stop. Uh, this is 225. This is a material. What's it a material for? Why is it? Why is it a material for? Oh, okay. I see. Crystal Crusher. 1,000 pickaxe power. Shadow spec bars. Uh, you don't get shadow spec bars until the end. Yeah, okay. So that's definitely not it. Blossom pickaxe? Can mine orc. Okay, so we just need to make the blossom pickaxe. Damn it. I knew... I knew I was gonna hit a wrinkle right off the bat. I just didn't know what kind of wrinkle it was going to be. That's fine. Put that in there. Anyways, this episode is going to be the prep episode. But let's making, we're making armor. We're making weapons. We're, oh my goodness. That scares me every time. We're going to have to refight uh, Yaron. Presumably, we will we'll have to refight him. I don't want to. As I said yesterday, I think that, uh, I think that I'm kind of just done fighting that boss for a while. Oh my goodness, this this is this is a problem. But I think that getting the armor and getting all the upgrades is gonna make it a lot easier. So that's gonna be our like our number one priority. So let's get that figured out. This thing pickaxe is so fast. Uh, let's get let's get that figured out, and then we'll we'll get in there with. Um, Jeez, it's actually kind of fun how fast it goes. Um, we'll, and it's, it's totally killing my train of thought. We'll get in there, we'll do the boss fight again, and we'll, we'll just make everything. Because I have a strong feeling, a suspicion, a an inkling that I'm going to end up going through a lot of weapons, figuring out what is the best for either one of these fights. And in the past couple playthroughs, what I have done, I may as well pick up the granular lore. What I have done is I've gone through the Exomex first. I mean, technically they're, they're the first one to kill, but they are, they're on the same tier. So you could kind of swap between them. Um, and the result of that has been that I, I get the Exomex stuff and it makes Supreme Calamitous way easier, but it's possible that as melee, we will find, jeez, uh, we will find uh, Supreme Calamitous slightly easier than the Exomex. Who knows? I, I don't think that is the case, but it, it might happen. And if it does happen, then at that point, we'll just do Supreme Calamitous first and then we'll do the XMX. But either way, both both bosses are getting dead. Okay, I know I need to make the dragon fruit. Um, I mean, it's an extra 25 max life, which is nice. And it also increases based on, you know, having our max health because we have a life force person and all that. That's fine. But I'm not sure that is, excuse me, a priority for five fragments out of 30, right? Oh, man, I'm, I got hiccups coming on. I'm going to have to get rid of them. Um, so I think with 
auric bars. I think that's going to be our priority. It's just craft as many as we can. So let's, or, or, oh my goodness. What do I need? A cosmic anvil. Do I have one? I do. Okay. Let's just hit bar. Oh, right, 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 right. I don't have auric ore in there. Um, I'm just going to max stack it. We're just going to make 20. Um, I'm going to need a lot more ore. But this is a start, right? So like with the bars, I, I think the first thing I'm going to make is all of the armor. I think the armor is, did they seriously have an auric toilet? I didn't notice that yesterday. Yeah, that's pretty funny. Um, yeah, so let's go, let's go get some more and then we'll, we'll get the armor done first. All right, I gathered so much of this stuff. Uh, what am I at? Seven, 769. <laughs> all right, let's make 60 bars. Perfect. Now, um, ooh, you know what? I should probably make a void bag and all that. It's too late. It's too late. We're not going to do that, uh, this place here. So let's make the armor. So um, I could do, what is it? Is it, uh, it is orc, orc armor. So what am, what am I missing out of this? I am missing the silver armor or my God Slayer. So I'm, I'm going to use my God Slayer stuff. Obviously, we're just going to recycle that right like i don't i don't need it for these boss fights so let's do this cool so body armor um 100 or plus 100 max life eight percent increased damage five percent increased crit chance pretty good we got the helm which is gonna give us uh 20 increased melee damage 10 percent increased melee critical strike chance it's real nice and then the pants what are the pants called Tesla green. Oh, wait, I need a flying carpet. Seriously. Seriously. I need a fly. Okay. You know what? We can, <laughs> we can make one. Thank God. All right. Boom. Boom. Now we got the pants. So we're going to go up. We were at like two, two, two Oh eight or two ten uh, defense. I mean, hell I'm at one twenty one. I'm not even wearing armor. <laughs> so let's pop this on. Boom, boom, boom. Two sixty seven. That's pretty good. All right. Set bonus. Melee, Tarragon, Blood Flare, and God Slayer effects. That's so good. We get all three of those. That's so good. Enemies are more likely to target you. 28% increased melee speed. Damn. That's really nice. Magic Carpet effect um, from the pants. That is awesome. That is really, really good. Okay, so, oh my goodness, look how cool we look. <laughs> the Royal Helm is the coolest piece of this set for sure. Look at that. I look awesome. Okay. Now, what else? Uh, that, that used a lot of my bars. I know it did, unfortunately. But we can make... Uh, do, 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 do. Well, actually, let's let's open this back up. We'll click on this. Uh, Seraf Tracers. So we could definitely make... Oh, crap. I freaking sold Drew's wings. Do I have another pair? I bet you I do. I, I sold them. Why did I sell them? I did it right at the beginning at, uh, of this episode crap <laughs> all right it's fine we'll kill him again and get another pair of wings um rampart of the deities which i think we should be able to make rampart uh we are missing the frozen shield which i can make okay i thought i had i thought i had one but apparently not um we're missing the ascendant spirit essence which i just need to go get endothermic energy apparently man we're gonna be missing out a lot of stuff purity how do i make purity don't have the stuff for that yet um Miracle thing. No, okay. I hear something above us, so I'm gonna slap him. Let's get a weapon. I think uh, a weapon is gonna be priority. Seraphim. Rogue damage. Oh, that's so cool. Okay, but we need melee, right? Arc of the Cosmos. We could definitely make Arc of the Cosmos because we have the, the Galaxia. So there it is, Arc of the Cosmos. Boom. Oh my goodness, that does so much damage. Left click to perform a five swing combo that ends by throwing the blade. The thrown blade will follow your cursor. Releasing while the blade is out will cause an exploding snap. Right click to snip out the scissor blades in front of you. Let's let's turn this to daytime. Do, do, do. Snip out the scissor blades in front of you. Hitting an enemy with it will parry them, granting you brief and vulnerability. You can parry projectiles to make them deal 160 less damage for a short period. That's really nice. Uh, parrying anything will empower the next 10 swings with a sword. Pressing right click while holding up with empower charges will provoke a big rip in space time and use all charges. If five or more charges were used, you could dash across the rip by holding up. 
That is such a complicated weapon. But cool. How many more bars do we have? We have 30 bars remaining. I would have been able to make quite a lot of my stuff. <laughs> um, not all of it, but I would have been able to make quite a lot of it if I didn't, uh, if I didn't sell the stupid wings. I can't believe I did that. Okay. For the Rampart of the Deities, I need the, the Spirit Essence, so we're we'll go get that. Is there any other weapon that I want to make real quick? Uh, do I need to make Drayden's Forge? No, that's not, I can't make that yet. Uh, can I make Altar of the Cursed? Offers Ashes Calamity. To, uh, okay, so I definitely need that in order to, to summon. Uh, melee weapons, so Dragon's Pow. Don't have all of the stuff for that. We have enough for the Nadir. Um, I believe. Twisting Nether, where's that come from? Oh yeah, I, de I definitely have that. I have the Elemental Lance. I think I can make that. Um, the Oracle, I think I can make the Oracle. This is the the yo-yo. It's an aura of red lightning, which charges up when hit when hitting enemies. Fires auric orbs when supercharged. Sounds pretty sick. We will get a chance to use some of this in this episode, by the way. Magic, magic, melee. The Oh, you know what? I don't I don't have the ascended spirit essence, but I wonder if I have everything else for this sword. All right, let's let's check the check the uh, dragon pow. Oh, I can make the dragon fruit. I have one ascended spirit. Okay, fine. Let's make it. Let's make it and get it. We're up to 820 HP. Pretty good. Dragon pow. I'm missing the morning star and the flower pow. I can make this one. So we'll craft that one up. Um, I'm gonna definitely do all of these weapons, right? So. Where does the flower pow come from? I actually don't remember. Ah, okay. We'll have to go kill Plantera. Morning Star, I can make with the solar eruption. Do, do, do. Craft that. Okay. So when it comes to the dragon pow, all we're missing is the flower pow. So let's let's go to bulb. Okay. So we're gonna need to do her. Um, Present, oh, present. Okay, so we need to do Frost Moon. Um, let's let's test this weapon out. The Arc of the Cosmos. <clears throat> do this. We'll do this together. Okay, so that's the parry. This is cool. This is really cool. Hell, I'm I'm. Let's go. Mm. <laughs> Let's go do Yaron with this. Now I'm a little rusty, even though I just killed it yesterday. I'm a little rusty because I just, I, I've forgotten all of that information already. Here we go. I'm curious about the... I, I'm gonna have to utilize that block a little bit better. Like, did that work? I don't think it did. This is such a, a weird weapon to use for this. But I guess, oh my goodness, if I actually hit the parry, it would be really, really nice. I mean, I could parry projectiles too, but I thought I did there and I just did not. Okay. It's such a weird weapon. I can dig it though. Can I, can I parry this? I can. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's amazing. I don't I don't know if it's worth it, but you can totally parry it. Okay, where, where did he go? I feel like I could be doing a lot better with this weapon, but I'm having to learn how to use it. Like I need to be actually hitting the parry as much as I can on these projectiles when they're coming at me like this. Because it's going to give me that option of um, taking that reduced damage. This is such an interesting weapon for sure. Like definitely parry that, right? So if we parry that, it gives me the reduced damage taken from it. Oh, come on. I parried him. That was totally within range. It's got a smaller hitbox than it looks like, apparently. 
I don't know how well I'm gonna do here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go quiet mode and see if I can do any better because I'm talking a lot. Nope, didn't work. All right, that's fine. I I don't know if that's the weapon for this boss, but th it doesn't need to be. It doesn't need to be. We can, we can go get the other weapons too. So let's go. Oh, dang it, I hate when that happens. All right, maybe I don't go do that one. Let's go do the endothermic energy real quick. Okay, Ascendant Spirit Essence. <laughs> now, now we're back to this. So, uh, Ascend... Why can't I make Spirit Essence? Oh, that's because I'm spelling it wrong. Um, right? Yeah, definitely we're spelling it wrong. Max stack. All right, so we got 13 of those. So now we can make this. We can pop this in here and get the Rampart of the Deities, which is just... Just, just straight gold like it is so good the amount of uh damage reduction and everything it's just it's insane that's so good okay we're up to 285 defense now with that what else was there was there anything there's another weapon wasn't there this one right 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 so i needed the yeah i needed the uh ascendant spirit essence for this one too so this one is called the uh ataraxia Cool. Definitely had everything for it. Boom. This says it's just insane knockback. Average speed. We'll check it out in just a moment. Uh, the dragon pow. I, I still need to do plantaria, so maybe we go do that real quick. Let's let's check this weapon. Wait, does it have a projectile? Oh, that, isn't that beautiful? I love weapons with projectiles, especially against things like, uh, <laughs> like Yeron, which, you know, we may... You may go refight. Oh, come on. I just... Oh, I'm so tired of... There's there's enough guys there, right? No, it's just him. Oh, respawn, you nerds. Oh, no. I think I summoned Yaron, too. I just wanted to summon Plantera. Oh, God, no. <laughs> no, this is, not, this is not what I wanted. Just kill Plantera, please. Just get, get Plantera dead. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> Crap. I, I obviously hit the wrong button. Um... Yeah, how's this gonna work? If I no, <laughs> crap. Right, dragon. Why can't I do make it yet? Bump, bump. Need to make the flower pal. Craft. Now we got the dragon pal. Boom. Um, we're gonna go re-roll all of these. Uh, put it there. What else was there? The oracle. I could try the oracle. This is a yo-yo though, so it's something to consider. We'd have to run the yo-yo pack, right? So, I mean, maybe it's good. There's also the Nadir, which I might I might be able to make. Let's let's check. Nadir. Yep. All right. So we got that one. Um, obviously, I'm not getting the the stuff from from Yaron until I kill him. Uh, and this, I think I've got both of those. So the Oracle. No. What am I missing? Yeah, I'm missing the Obliterator. Where's who, who, where does this come from? Dog. You know what? I feel like DOG would be a pretty quick kill, uh, all things considered, but we, we have to do Yaron. So I think, uh, let's, let's re-roll these and then I'm going to go try Yaron again. Oh, I forgot to actually check out these weapons. So the Nadir, what does it say that it does? Um, the Abyss, wait, fires void essences, which flay nearby enemies with tentacles, ignores immunity frames. Oh, that's kind of nice. Uh, the Abyss has start, stared back at you long enough. It now speaks and it does not speak softly done that one and the the dragon pal fires a dragon head that releases draconic sparks summons a barrage of petals and waterfalls on enemy hits that is really annoying <laughs> all right let's go do let's go do yaron and oh my goodness how are you guys all still dead oh it's so annoying so we'll try yaron and i'm gonna try the different weapons um i think the war banner of the sun would be better with this weapon just because it is, but I, I also kind of feel like I want to do the evolution uh, just for this fight because that extra damage reduction on um, projectiles is really nice. So it's just kind of something I, I know that I could be running better stuff. I'm just running this for this particular fight, I think. Okay, I did it with the Nadir just to get it done, but I was kind of trying to pay attention to which weapons were better. Honestly, it kind of didn't matter. Um, the dragon pow I could not use because I just couldn't hear his charges anymore because it's the same noise. 
Right, now do we do we craft the weapon? Or I guess we can't. This is not a material, so I just have to open it. Um, so we got our Drew's wings, and we got the Dragon Rage, so we could try that one out too. Uh, let's go ahead and do the Drew's wings in there, which then allows us to do this. It upgrades to the what? The Seraph Tracers, hell yeah. Okay, cool. Boom, Seraph Tracers. Boom. All right, these are like big upgrades here. So, the Asgardian Aegis I'm using, but do I need to? I mean, I like the dash, right? I need to use the glove. I don't need to use the sponge or Yerom's, or I don't know, maybe I'll use the gift, but I think the evolution goes, right? So I think that's kind of uh, where I'm going with this. Also, we gotta try this weapon out. We gotta, we gotta see what this one is. Uh, this one is one of the ones that sounded cool when I, when I was reading through it, so. It is twirls a baton that causes explosions on enemy hits. Every 10 hits will summon a ring of fireballs. Nope, wrong one. Uh, we look cool. We look real cool. Uh, I wonder. I mean, it does, it did a lot of damage there. This, this may not be great for, yeah, that may not be great for the two upcoming bosses. I mean, actually, maybe at the beginning of of Calamitous, the little things that are like hanging in the arena to kill those off, maybe. But uh, I, I feel like we have better options for that. All right, so we need <sighs> Cosmic Worm. Is that the name of it? Yeah. Nailed it. Because we just got to go kill this boss real quick. So I don't know what I just said there. That was, that was a lot of <laughs> slurring of words. Let's, let's try this. Um, right, I gotta wait for... So remember, I did this with the Murasama the last time, and it was just awesome. So, I'm gonna kinda try the same thing here. Oh, that's right, he does a lot of damage to me when you actually get hit by him. I may not be able to just, like, cheese this by hitting him over and over. I, may, I might actually have to do this once or twice. <laughs> what did I get? What's this debuff? Death approaches... Attack power and life regen. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He does this thing. Oh, I gotta move out of the way. I don't know if this is the best weapon for this. Gotta be honest. I think I'd rather parry him. Hmm. I don't know if that's doing as much damage as I wanted to. Hey, you know what? It doesn't really matter. I'm <laughs> just hitting him. Let's just get him dead. Oh, let's, let's not get hit by all of the projectiles, please. He's gonna jump at us. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, there's so many projectiles. How do I dodge that? <laughs> Crap. That's not the right weapon for this. I think the dragon pow actually might be because of the explosions. So let's try this again. Let's try this again. Whoa. Man, this weapon is annoying, huh? This uh, dragon rage is definitely the weapon for it. I just dominated him. This is a way better weapon for this. Let's see. Is it gonna do a bunch of damage here? Yeah, I'm just like melting him. This is really nice. I mean, is it, is it the Murasama? Nah, the Murasama was really good, but obviously this is doing more damage. I really liked using that weapon on him. I thought it was very fun. Just avoid all of the projectiles. Kill him, please. Come on. Shoot, ha. Huh? There we go. What did we need from him? We needed a uh, yo-yo. Can I craft it with the bag? Give it to me, baby. Let's check. Not a material, right? Nope. Oh, that's a shame. I might have to do him several times. Nope. Didn't, oh, oh. <laughs> we didn't get it. That's fine. Got a lot of stuff. Didn't get what we were looking for, though. Maybe, maybe I'll just get that in between episodes, and we'll try the... Um, what's that? Oh, right. I see. It's all this stuff. Maybe, yeah, maybe we'll try it in between episodes. Kill him. Try to get the yo-yo. See how that goes. I feel like, honestly, the yo-yo is really good. But is it going to be great against these bosses? I don't know. Like, this is the thing with the Exomex. Is it, it is basically three separate bosses. And different weapons work really well on different versions of those. So like the yo-yo might be really, really good against the the giant uh, worm thing. 
but I don't know. So it's just going to take some time, I think, to get in there and figure out what is good and what isn't.